good morning friends and welcome back to my channel in today's video i was gonna be just taking down the easter decor and just kind of sprucing the house back up before we left for the beach but we had so much going on this weekend i decided just to share with y'all like a whole weekend vlog so first we're gonna mix up this recipe that i saw on pinterest it's called marry me chicken a lot of y'all have probably seen it before i've heard of it but never made it and it was delicious it was such an easy crock pot meal so i'm gonna link it in the description box down below and while we are whipping this up this is actually on thursday so we're gonna take down the easter decor and then we had a very fun filled weekend we have not had a weekend like this all year long and so i just thought that i would just go through and just kind of film clips throughout the weekend with you all of things that we did there were so much fun things happening but man i slept good every night this weekend because i felt like it was go 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 usually on the weekends we've been staying around the house being out in the yard hanging out on the patio but no this weekend it was one thing after another so i'm excited to take you all along with me so we used half of that chicken to make the marry me chicken and then the other half half i've been using we've been doing this almost every week we'll make a meal with half the chicken and then the other half we'll just put it in a pan season it up and we'll use it to make like wraps we love making buffalo chicken wraps or like salads it's just easy to go ahead and cook this up and then very convenient to throw together um, either a small supper or lunch and so we've been loving doing this I also wanted to share with y'all because we're about to start cleaning up the kitchen and these were sitting here. These E Essential books are amazing if you're into essential oils, um, Young Living especially. So they sent me over some of these books and sent me a code, which I'll link the code down below if you're interested in them. There's a smaller version that gives you some information on the oils and different things on Young Living. And then there is a bigger version. I have talked about this so much over on my Instagram page and I love this book. So I wanted to share it with y'all if y'all are interested. And they did give me a code where you can enjoy a discount and I think I'm going to be doing over on my Instagram. I'm going to talk about them more and then doing a giveaway with some of these. So that's why they sent them over because I already have one and I was sharing how much I loved it. And they were like, hey, I will send you some over and you can give them to your friends, do a giveaway, whatever you want to do. And so thank you all so much for sending these. So if you're like me and have been doing or want to be doing a more natural lifestyle, um, we're not completely non-toxic over this way, but we do a lot of things a lot different than we used to to and we have felt so much better and this book right here is like my number one go-to on learning all the things so now we're going to be taking down the easter decor which if y'all did the easter decorate with me we didn't really put out a whole bunch but i want to go ahead and get that packed away and just kind of a refresh because like i said we're going to be leaving for the beach soon and i just want to get the house tidied up so I'll go ahead and let y'all know too, this is going to be a very chatty video because I have a lot that I want to share with y'all and ask y'all. So let me know in the comments down below, when do you take down your Easter? Do you leave it up through the rest of the spring season or do you take it down right after Easter weekend? Usually I go ahead and take mine down, but since mine was all neutral, I was still loving it up. And so it feels good just to get it down and just have like I said, a clean refresh for whenever we get back from the beach. I love having a clean house whenever we come home from vacation and then also whenever we get back we're going to be taking down a lot of the black and i mean we still will have like black and white but we're going to be doing a lot of the blue and white um and i'll share with y'all more about that later but i'm really excited to kind of give this house kind of like a little summer transformation um we actually are going to be doing um some blue and white decor and then we're going to be doing some black and white decor with peaches and then back to the blue and white um, for like the patriotic decor for um, July and August. And so I have lots of fun ideas that we're gonna be doing and just kind of giving the house just a little bit of a makeover with decor. Like I 
I said, today was dedicated for just like really cleaning up the Easter decor, giving the house kind of a clean slate, if you will, and then deep cleaning. And then we're going to wash the hair today, go get my nails done today. And so we just kind of um, are going to be staying around the house today because we have a very busy weekend. Also, this plant has done really good in this cabinet closed off. And so I was excited about that because we were all a little bit concerned. And I'm really excited to announce that it is doing very well. And I'm as shocked as much as you guys are. Also, this is Thursday, and so now I'm editing this video, doing this voiceover on a Monday morning, and the house is a mess again, and so I feel like we're just constantly picking up and re-cleaning. Um, I feel like I like to have it clean before the weekend, and then on Mondays is usually another cleaning day, just like a little cleanup um, after the weekend, and usually during the weekend, like I said, we're home, so I'm good at keeping everything clean and tidy while we're here, but I have barely been home this weekend, and so it got in pretty bad shape again, and so we're gonna finish editing this video, and then we're gonna get back up and then clean up the house one more time, wash some more clothes, and then hopefully that'll be the last, like, really good clean before we head off for vacation, which Drew and I are so excited about just to have a little relaxation time. <music> That was almost too perfect of timing because we are finished with the kitchen. We're finished taking down the Easter decor and then the extra chicken that I made up is done. All we have to do is finish wiping up this little area and then we're going to move on to the next part of the house. loving this Alexa. Anytime that I'm deep cleaning or really every morning I wake up, I ask her to play praise and worship music and I will just have it up, have it on, be singing as we are cleaning, decorating, cooking, or just hanging out, whatever we're doing as we're at home. And a lot of y'all asked about this thing and I am still loving it. I also realized as I started wiping down the refrigerator, that there was still plastic on this door. I don't know how that happened, but we did get that off.
we've pretty much seen this coffee table decorated like this for the last few months but i'm excited about some of the ideas that i have to kind of give it a refresh with some of the things that we have for may june july um those little summer months i'm excited to put those little pieces out and i think it's going to make it just feel a little bit more uh, true to the season with the blues. I'm loving the little blue and white decor. I've had a lot of things pinned on my pinchers for like the little patriotic decor. Just add a little bit of color into the house um, for this new fun season. And now we're going to spray down all the furniture with this little spray bottle that my friend made me. It's made with the Young Lemon Essential Oils and it's called Let's Blossom so it smells really good. And we're going to go ahead and do some loads of laundry and get those put away. I've been trying to keep up with it for the weekend and then also only have to do a few more loads before we're headed off to the beach because I love having all the laundry caught up on and the house clean whenever we leave so when we come home all we have to do is unpack or wash the clothes or most of the time whenever we're on vacation I like to wash my clothes as we are there so I don't have as much to do whenever we get home let me know if y'all are like that or not it just helps me feel organized and not so stressed coming home to a messy house and lots of clothes that I have to do mattresses are already extra fluffy because we love them like that i still needed a little extra support this is how our old bed was never it was just like one solid king bed and so Drew and I were talking and we decided that we need the extra cushion and so I bought one of these like little mattress toppers off of Amazon or actually I bought two of them because we have two extra large twin beds and we love these and so I had already put the one on my side and Drew was already laying down almost asleep the night that I put mine on and so I decided to go ahead and put his on um, his side and so they are so comfortable. I love having a little extra topper and a little extra cushion. Y'all let me know, do y'all like a really soft cushiony bed or do y'all like a more firm mattress? Drew and I both love the more cushion. And now we're heading off to my local nail salon. I'm gonna get a nail and a little toenail refresh. So they are good to go for the beach. And I just got like this little French manicure deal. And then this is towards the end of the night, and our supper is ready, and Drew and I did this a 10 out of 10. It was so good. Now, it is Friday morning, and I went with my mom and dad car shopping. So, I told y'all, we sold the Jeep um, a few months ago, and I've been driving my little car around, and I love it, but we've been on the hunt for a mommy vehicle. So, I asked on Instagram, and y'all gave me all the ones that y'all loved. There are so many different ones out there, so it's hard to kind of decide which one that we're wanting to get. They'll say hands down the most popular one over on Instagram was a Chevy Traverse. So y'all let me know what your favorite mommy vehicle is in the comments down below. Whenever I was reading them off to Drew, Drew was like, well, it sounds like we need to go look at the Chevy Traverses because those were very popular. Saturday morning was our second annual strawberry festival in our small town. The first one was last year and it's strawberry season here and so our town's been putting on a huge festival and it was even bigger this year than last year. Lots of vendors, so many cute little things I cannot wait to share with y'all. I did not even touch not even half of these booths that they had. It was very crowded and busy here. The town had a wonderful turnout. I love this little boutique. Look at this like little bag that you put your mickey mouse ears in i believe that they said that it held four different pairs and then these little cups were so cute too addison ended up designing um, a cup it wasn't a disney inspired one but the disney stuff was so cute but they actually have an etsy shop so they ship so here's the information if you're interested they do custom orders so these would make great gifts and they had lots of cute little baby and toddler little boutiques the cutest 
there was lots of lemonade around, lots of strawberry lemonade. This is actually the Strawberry Queens booth. And here's the Strawberry Queens this year. And then this was another really cute little boutique. And they have a little online Instagram and they ship. And I thought their stuff was just so precious. So I did get something from them and I'll share with y'all that at the end of this day. Lots of really cute outfits to be at celebrating the strawberries. And then this was the Strawberry Festival t-shirt for the year that had like a little arts and crafts section, a little picture area where you could take pictures for the Strawberry Festival. And again, with the baby clothes, so cute. It was so hard not to buy so many outfits, but we did only buy one. I did love that little flag, little romper right there. back from the festival and I wanted to share with you all some things that I got. So the first thing is this cute little bag. I thought that I could carry it now and then it'd be really cute to use in the diaper bag whenever baby boy gets here. And they're located in Alabaster, which isn't too far from me. And here is their little um, name. I'll try to link their Instagram down below, but this is their name if you want to follow them on Instagram. And they said that they do ship, so you could get a custom made order. I just thought this was really cute. Next thing I got was for baby boy. There was so many cute outfits there, but I just got this one, and I got it to where it would be big enough to where he could wear it to the festival next year. As y'all saw, everybody had on the cutest little strawberry outfits. And so whenever I saw this one, I thought he could wear this one for strawberry season. Also, this was a really cute boutique. And I grabbed this. I think I'm going to wear this to my cousin's getting married tonight. And so I think we're going to wear this to the wedding. Well, first off, this did not come from the boutique. This is the new strawberry shirt for this year. I threw that in the bag. But look how pretty this blue is. They had like a green and a red. But I loved this one. I got one last year too. And I was going to wear it today. It was white, but I've worn it so much, it kind of looked bad. So I was excited to get a new one. Okay, here's the dress. It is so cute. It'll be so pretty and perfect for a baby bump. I can grow into this. And then, like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm going to wear this tonight. I had to hang it up so you could see it. But I love how it's two-toned. Um, I think I got makeup on it. I don't know if that's mine or somebody else's, but I'm going to get that out. Because I tried it on while we were there. But look how pretty this is. I love this so much. So I'm excited to try it on. It's either going to be this dress or another dress that I already had that I was going to wear tonight. have a mess back here but this is the dress that I got yesterday I decided to wear this one today and the other one that had long sleeves yesterday because I thought it was gonna be cold at night and then these shoes which I love I've shared about these on Instagram I'm gonna be posting another video about them they are amazing go check out my Instagram they are convertible heels to flats and I have a promo code for these. So go check it out on Instagram. I'm going to share it on YouTube on another day. This is my outfit. We're going to church. And two of our cousins are getting baptized today. So we're going to go to church. And then we're going to go shopping for the beach. And I'm going to take y'all with me there too. So Parker and Paisley got baptized today. Their oldest brother has already been baptized. And so this family is all believers. And it is just so amazing. Lots of answered prayers. And more generations that chose Jesus and declared it today. And so it was just such a special day and I am so proud of these two. And all I could think about whenever I was there watching them is, I just hope and pray one day that our baby boy 
day, Jesus is Jesus. Drew and I talk about it all the time, that that's all we want for him out of this life is for him to know Jesus and love him. It's actually a total of 10 that got baptized today. So I'm so proud of these two and all of the rest of them. That's just more generations that gets to know Jesus and share his love. And I'm so happy for this family. Sunday afternoon, we went and had a quick bite at McAllister's, and then we went out shopping. Um, there was a few things that was on our list, some swimsuits, some beach chairs. So I just got them out of the bag. I didn't get anything very fun today, but a few things when we went out and about. I got this t-shirt from Aerie. Their t-shirts are so soft and it was on clearance. So I got a medium and it's oversized and I love this green color. And then I also got these sweatpants. I have this, um, this style in shorts and they are so comfortable. They are mine and Addison's absolute favorite. Um, these were on clearance too. I was trying to see. They don't really have a, I guess if you want to maybe look up one of these numbers if you're interested in these um, or the shorts, but they are just so soft. So I got these and I did get them in a medium. If you get these size down, the shorts are actually, I think I either got an extra small or small in the shorts and usually I wear a medium. So it's very oversized, but my gosh, they're so soft. And then from Old Navy, well, from Target, I got these little earrings. I just wanted like just some simple little bitty hoops. For all three, they were $7.99, so I could wear them on the beach. And if they got ruined or lost or anything while we were out there, it was not that much for all three. I thought they were really pretty. And then I got a bodysuit from Old Navy. All of this stuff was on sale. And I needed a bodysuit because all the like black shirts that I have, they just don't look good with things um, with the belly now. So I got a bodysuit and it has the snaps. And I did get the large, but I do love the square neck. And then also from Old Navy, I've been eyeballing this. I was waiting for everything to go on sale because y'all know me. I like to shop, but I like to find my deals too. So I got this tennis skirt. These come in several different colors. Like this one is white and tan. This one the same but I wanted the black and it has the built-in shorts I just think it's so cute so we're gonna see how we can style this with a little belly and then Drew I've already got the suitcase out because we're working on packing but Drew wanted some more hey dudes he loves this shoe so much these were not on sale you can't get these on sale um, I don't think so but you can just Google, hey dudes, this would be a great birthday gift for guys or Father's Day gift. Drew loves these. This is his third pair. And then, like I said, he's been wearing these for a few years now. And he loves wearing these with shorts in the summertime. And so do all the other guys around here. So I think these would make great gifts. Okay, friends, we're going to end the vlog right there. I hope that y'all enjoyed this very long weekend with us. There was so much to share. I wasn't planning on doing like a weekend vlog, but there was so much going on. I thought we haven't done one of these in a while, so I thought it'd be fun to share with y'all. This is not a normal day in the life weekend. This was a crazy one. I feel like we did the most this weekend as we have all year, like I said, and so I hope that y'all enjoyed every bit of it. Let me know in the comments down below if you like these style of vlogs and if you would like me to do them again. We are going to be going to the beach like I said and so I am going to be doing a beach vlog and then like a little condo tour because it is so cute. So I'm excited to share that with y'all. I hope that y'all have a wonderful rest of your week and I will see you guys on the very next one. God bless.